This has got a really nice airlift uh, suspension on it. It's got a nice boot install as well. That's speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's 217 brake horsepower. It should be about 160 as standard. <laughs> the exhaust is sticking out right there. Just look around a quick Lamborghini Urus. Here it is. We just spotted this in the pits. It's actually the only old school Panda here, which is quite surprising. Hi guys, welcome to another video. We've just arrived at Brands Hatch uh, for Festival Italia. Um, I've actually ended up getting a good spot. I'm right opposite the track in like the pit lane sort of thing. Um, so it's about half seven now. We got up at four o'clock. We left at five o'clock. Like I say, it's half seven now. So uh, we're very early, but hopefully we'll get a, a good few cars turn up today. I don't know who's going to park in my section as it's just me and a slam punter at the moment. But um, yeah, I'll be bringing you footage from today's uh, Festival Italia. Matching flags on. I had to take mine off on the way down because the area was proper flexing, but we've just put the Italian flag on. This is the, uh, I've just checked it, it isn't a bar, it's just a normal Punto, but it's on air ride. Look how low that is, so that is really, really cool. And he's got a nice number plate as well. And then we've just been joined by another blue bar, which I'll show you now. It's just joined us, it's obviously part next to us. They've got a really cool private plate, podium blue, convertible as well. They've done the uh, white stenciling on the grill. How about these and the original baths? Absolutely tiny. Of course they got their oh that one's got a boot cover, an engine cover on. Oh it's so cute! Little four pop. Little four pop 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 pop. Do a bit of one, two, four spotting, so you have a red one with again the black heritage pack. But it's actually got gloss mirrors, red leather, uh, model number 98. Again, I'm going around looking at all the uh model numbers but uh yeah we've got one of each color here so far yeah. so this is a yamaha xsr edition and he's actually had it tuned and he makes these and supplies these custom front splitters and obviously the xsr come with the custom uh, carbon fiber bits anyway but it's got a stage one re stage one remap and it's 217 brake horsepower it should be about 160 as standard the guy was actually going to uh, sell the car, so he stripped it of all the pieces, sold all the bits and decided to keep it, so he bought all the bits back again. But a really nice looking XSR, that carbon splitter really sets it off at the front though. The wheels are coming out nicely as well, got some spaces all round, which really makes the car. Really nice and stance, it's a really nice XSR. We have another sort of modified above here. Again, it looks like some wheel space is going there. Look at them wheels. Nice little red pinstripe going on, got the mud flaps as well. Different rear lights, different, oh a Novatec exhaust system it must be. The two pipes sticking out the back. The martini theme going on here. Martini above stripes. Blue above logo in the wheels there. Shout out to these people, there must be the people that own it I guess. This has got a really nice airlift uh, suspension on it. It's got a nice boot install as well. But obviously it's slammed at the moment. It's got a nice sunset wrap. We're just waiting for the sun to come out, but it's really, really nice metallic flake in the wrap as well. That's how I ride. That's cool. Oh, I see. That's, That's, That's cool. nice. That's speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Which is like a monster truck. I'm on a motorway. I normally ride like that. Yeah, you haven't got to worry about steering lock too much. That's all out, but the back needs to go lower. But I'm a fan of these 595 seats in the uh, Series 3. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the red one, she's got the white one. They've both got different, well, Change the exhaust, so they've got a Scari exhaust. So, this is a competition. And then she owns the white one, which again has the uh, different exhaust. A bit is similar. So, again, they like one above so much that they decide to get one each. It's in a few times, so this is on airlift. It's got a whole different shifter inside. I 
how about that for a splitter, hey? That is a little lawnmower. The bath owner, I believe he's Italian. We met him at uh, Leo's funeral convoy. He gets around a bit. A heavily, heavily modified bath. So my personal favorite has to be like huge wing at the rear. I mean, well, the rear just as a whole is just epic. There's a Strada bath that my dad has two of, and they're in pieces. But one day, you never know, it might be all together, it might look as mint as this one. This is pretty wide and insane for a, a bath. Let's have a look around it. The exhaust is sticking out right there, so it's got a power flow exhaust system. Flipping it, this is mad. So we saw one of these for sale a little while ago, and you wanted it but I really like the look of these 126s. This is quite a nice tidy original one as well, as you can see. It doesn't look like it's been modified, it's just very standard and it's very original condition. Listen to it go. That's that one we saw. That's that thingy long wheelbase sort of one, yeah. wasn't it? The bar. Oh, that's dying, is it? That's a gearbox one. Here comes our big fat black one. Oh, that's going in as well. They're all going in. Oh, they're all going in. Just look around the creek Lamborghini Urus. Here it is. This is epic. Look at the screen, it's like a little Range Rover in here. All these different buttons here. I like it. Electric Justin seats in the back, it's only a four seat because you've got this massive centre console in the middle. 
look at all the red stitching everywhere. Yeah, it's the SUV to have, guys. I've actually seen this Lamborghini, or one very similar to it, unless it is this one down my end. I took a photo of it and put it on my Instagram once. So whether it's the same one or whether there's plenty more of this sort of look, I don't know. Apparently, there's 250 models of this sort of Lamborghini. They're not wrapped, which I thought they were. They're actually painted, but it's like an Air Force edition sort of uh, Lamborghini. So you've got the little logo there. So yeah, I probably have seen one, but it's probably a different one to what I saw. This VIP is actually the only old school panda here, which is quite surprising. So they're in the main strip here. But yeah, it's the only old school panda here. It's got a Ferrari engine. A Ferrari V8 in it. Flipping out. Very nice. Got some racing at the moment. Uh, some old school fries just finished going around a short track at Brands Hatch here at Festival Italia. I've just found a load of little Fiat coupes. I've never seen so many in one place. Uh, must be a good 15 here, so it's having a good look around those. Not a car you see every day nowadays. We've ended up on the Bath Owners Club stand because where we were, we we're getting no looks whatsoever. So the blue Bath I parked up next to asked the Bath Owners Club uh, organizer if we could come over. So we're now with the uh, rest of the Bath gang. So uh, yeah, feeling where we should belong now quite seen a scorpion graphic like that this guy's on Instagram Groover Bath I believe it is very nice Where my 124 is parked now, as you can see, it's absolutely deaded. But we do have some Lamborghinis over here, which I'll just walk you around. A lot of racing going on today as well, so even when we're not looking at the cars, there's always things to do. I haven't been to show before, but I'll definitely be coming again. There's a few Lamborghinis, just a little Lamborghini corner we've got going on. That's a nice Ferrari. I like this one. That's nice. Didn't see many red Lambos, do you really? An old one. I like this shape. But I think out of the corner, this has to be my favourite one. I've been uh, watching some of the racing, and then a couple of hot drinks, and we just spotted this in the pits. This is a very nice looking car nice colour. It is just an Alpine, I think. It's an Alpine, whatever that is. That's the make of it, isn't it? you got Alpine all in the 
hop there. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. Dale was just googling it. I've never heard of one of these before. Say belt seats. All quilted like stitch leather and stuff. Oh, the back of that looks a bit like a Tesla. I thought it was some sort of Tesla. Then I thought it was one of those Janetta things. We're on the Google to find out what it is. French day. There we go, another sticker added to my sort of, sort of events list. So I've got the Bath Owners Club, Owners Club, Vail Bath Owners Club, Owners Club, Festival Italia, Brands Hatch, Meat, and then Haynes, where I go for the Haynes Motor Museum breakfast meet. So I've got a nice little uh, windscreen internal sticker collection happening on the uh, one to four at the moment. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever taken one of my cars to as many uh, shows and events so far. And I'm hoping to go to plenty more in the future with my Bath 124 Spider. Right, so you're now joined, well I'm now joined, my fiancé Dale. We're actually hoping to get married next year. It was going to be 2020. Can't get your head in, but now it's hopefully going to be next year. Um, so Dale's been in Brands Hatch before. We've both never been to Festival Italia before. Um, it wasn't as big as the Brooklyn's Auto Italia. The uh, Brands Hatch actually has a track there, so um, although there was lots of Italian cars to look at, there was actually track action happening. So we watched some old Formula One cars go around, which were really, really noisy. Watched some Alphas go around, old school Ferraris. That was it really, wasn't Pirelli it? Pirelli Championship Ferraris. Pirelli, Pirelli Championship Ferraris racing we saw near towards the end. Um, and then we left pretty much after that. My parents left a few minutes before, but then our home after us because they got lost. Uh, in the Panda VIP. I can't believe that their Fiat Panda was the only Fiat Panda of any old school kind there, so that was uh, a bit unusual. Um, I had a few people talking to me about my Abarth 124, so in the end, all the Abarths that were scattered everywhere ended up all on the Abarth Owners Club, so thanks to the Abarth Owners Club for letting us come over and letting the others come over, I guess, and be united as one of our family. Um, we're just going to talk about some cars that took our eyes, really. So um, there was a purple Lancia Integrale I personally liked, and then you liked... That white one. The white one, which was next to it. I like the purple one because it's a purple colour, and I think that had black leather, that had yeah, different just interior. Black leather seats, isn't it? But your one. Cream leather wing backs. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but they were really nice. And I also quite liked, actually, I mean, there were Lamborghinis and Ferraris there, but I quite liked some of the older stuff as well. And I, another car that stood out for me was, what was it, the Fiat Punto GT? And what engine did it have in it? It had a V6, isn't it? V6. Blue, blue one. Yeah, it's lush. Um, oh, and we must say about the old school wide arch. A bath with you think it's a Porsche so it's Boxster? A, no, it was a 1.5 Boxer engine. Yeah, but it was an Alpha. It's an Alpha lump in there. Oh, was it? But it had a huge just power <laughs> flow exhaust sticking out the well, the it rear where the engine goes. It was rude. It was naughty. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we quite like that as well. So, yeah, it's been a long day for us. We left at five. We just got back, and the time is what half six. Half six. We just had some McDonald's. Um, I've killed some bugs on my journey. I've got some uh, epic kills. There, if you can see the bug juices. Um, I'm a bit annoyed actually because I've just come over to the boot to open it and it looks like someone has um, I've just wiped it off. There was a circle mark, so someone has annoyingly put their hot cup of drink on my car, which I'd never think of doing. So, whoever has done that, I'm not impressed. But um, yeah, um, so this is the longest journey I've ever done in driving history ever since I've had my license. So, it was a good two hours there and back. Um, I had cruise control on the way there because I was still following my parents and they could only do 60 so it was nice cruising with the cruise control on. On the way back we left separately so I was flying down the uh, motorway um, to make up some time because we got stuck in traffic. But yeah the car handled really well on the motorway um, and it was a really good show. There were some other spiders there but yeah like I said I spoke to most of the uh, bar flock. They were always friendly, um, nice group of people so yeah all in all good day especially watching all the uh, racing on the track as well. So yeah, we're just talking about the um, Alpine we saw actually, it was parked over in the pits and um, obviously it isn't an Italian car, but we weren't sure what it was, I thought it was a Tesla, what else I think it was, I can't remember. Lotus? I don't know what I think it was, it, was, it looked like a Tesla, oh a Ginetta I sort of thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. went over to it anyway and um, it turned out to be an Alpine which is a French car because like Dale said it had some resemblance of Peugeot on it. It had Peugeot parts inside. Yeah, oh, yeah. but um, we googled it didn't we and it's, uh, it's an A110. Alpine. Uh, I googled the price about 51 grand which isn't bad I've never seen one in my life um, what engine did it have do you remember 1.8 turbo yeah 1.8 turbo so, um, so yeah we really liked that that's another car that stood out for us that wasn't really part of the show but was there so we had a look at that as well and uh, yeah we briefly showed you anyway in this video but yeah that's saw quite another a nice one on car. the way back yeah you did I didn't mm. but yeah and uh, also what I will mention is um, 
I'm the founder of uh, our Bath Owners Club Dorset and I'm arranging a get together so for any of Bath owners that aren't in the area obviously you can come along uh, or what I'm also going to say is any previous Bath owners that have owned the uh, a Bath but don't anymore then come along and show us you know what you've sort of traded your Bath in as such for so um, if anyone's interested in that meet um, I might put some details actually in my next video possibly but if anyone is interested go over to my Instagram which are in is at the end of this video uh, at AMS642 and uh, I'll be well slide in my DMs as they say and I'll give you some information so it'll be down Dorset way where we are but if anyone wants to come along to that let me know and it should be a good meet uh, 15th of September around half six we're going to a local pub and then because it's in like the New Forest area we might go for a bit of a cruise afterwards depending on how many turn up but yeah it should be a nice meet so if anyone wants to come to that send me a message on Instagram and I'll give you more details so we are going now they're all sitting on the standard, by the way, which is why it looks so high. Um, yeah, we're going to go now. We've had a good day, busy day, a long day. Chill. Now we're going to chill. Um, we just have McDonald's, like I said. So um, if you like this video, like it. Uh, comment below if you agree with our sort of standout cars. If not, what was your best car that I filmed? And um, there was lots of stuff there I didn't film, but I filmed sort of stuff that Don't I space. thought would take my eye. Um, but yeah, it's a few unusual cars there as well. Uh, yeah, share this video with any of your car friends. That will be <coughs> greatly appreciated because it helps me out. You can also follow my fiance on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram below. Again, if you're into your German stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more car related videos and car videos from me. Bye. Oh my goodness, it's really dented that Nissan Leaf as well. <laughs> it's only an 18 plate. <laughs> um, film, but I filmed sort of stuff that Don't I suppose. thought would take my eye. Do you remember what those Lambos were? What ones? The one with the radio on the passenger side. No, it's a really old one, wasn't old it? Old rare thing, yeah. I can't yeah, remember what called. there was two of them there, weren't there? And you had mm. the radio and the passenger side. Yeah. Uh, follow my fiancé on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram below. Again, if you're into your German stuff or you're just into my fiancé. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> we shouldn't have said that. No, thanks, you shouldn't have. <laughs> thanks for watching, 